Hi, my name is Josh Jones, and this is my interpretation of motivational interviewing. Motivational interviewing is something that every business should look upon. The first reason for that is when anyone walks through your door, they want to know something that they don't know themselves. Yes, in a sense, they need to be wowed. They need, you need to show compassion. You need to build rapport with any clientele that you might see. In the space of an AEP, someone walks through that door, the first thing is they have a desire to change. They've shown that first thing by ringing up, talking to reception. Reception say, yes, I'll book you in. Bang, there's their first desire of change. A fantastic quote by Miller and Rodwick states, MI is collaborative. Goal-oriented style of communication with a particular attention to language of change. It is designed to strengthen personal motivation for you and your client and to be committed to the specific goal by exploring the person's own reasons for change within an atmosphere of acceptance and compassion. I believe this to be so true. As soon as they walk in, they need to know something that they simply don't know themselves, like I said before. As soon as they sit down, the biggest thing for you, you need to show one, yes, acceptance, and bang, compassion. Body language is also something that's very, very important and is a major part of motivational interviewing. If you're showing compassion by sitting up nice and tall and understanding that your patient's been through a lot, then every patient that you're going to see is going to have a story. And that's the most fantastic thing about being an accredited exercise physiologist. Being able to show compassion by seeing that, yes, their confidence might be low. They're coming to see you because they simply can't achieve these goals by themselves. They're going to have desire is going to be low as well. It's not big for you. It's big for them. They're coming to see you, which is a massive part of their life. And their importance on exercise might be low. They've got themselves this far. Whatever comorbidity it might be, let's use stroke, for example. Stroke is something that's going to affect anyone's personal life, not only theirs, but their families as well. It's not just about growing their right side of their body again, getting them able to use their hands, getting them able to use their feet, getting proprioception and balance work back in to any patient. But showing importance, showing care in their life, understanding why they're back, why they're here, is the most important thing to see that client every single week. Understanding that the next step you're going to be take is a partnership. Showing acceptance. Giving them open-minded questions. Reflecting upon these questions and summarizing exactly what it is you're going to do with this client. Simple things like, how can I help you today? Is such an easy way to get the person to explain every single thing about why they're here to see you. Help me understand is also an effective reason about why they're there. What would you like to do differently? I feel like this is an extremely important question. Why are you here? Why do you, what do you want to do differently? And that always comes back to that desire to change. They're there for a reason. They need your help. Five basic pr principles are, firstly, express and show empathy towards your client. That's so important. Like I said before, it's a partnership. It's something that they want to do with you. They don't want to be just told what to do. They want to be shown what to do. They want to see how this can be effective for them. Support and develop discrepancy. They're going to automatically have a discrepancy. They don't know how to do anything. They need to be shown. So if you show support, results back to empathy as well. Deal the resistance. Resistance for change is always going to be there in those initial five or six sessions. So building rapport straight off the bat is something that's really, really important for any client. 
and relates back to partnerships as well. You're there to do it together. Support self-efficacy. The old go slow to go fast mentality is something that is very, very important in any clinic. Seeing your patient go from one session to two sessions a week is massive. If you say, okay, initially, straight at the end of that session, I'm going to book you in for next Monday. Bang, they have two choices. The first, they can either take that time. Secondly, they can either say, sorry, that day doesn't work with me. Is it possible to do another day? Bang, you've already built that rapport. They understand that you care. They want, they go, oh my gosh, they want to see me straight away. That is so important. By doing that from there, you go, okay, do you just want to do one a week? And always at first, they're going to have motivation through the roof and they're going to want to do five days a week. If you say, I'm going to see you once a week, from there, we're going to do, we're going to build to two days a week. One day per week for 52 weeks is 52 sessions. If I can get you doing two days a week, there's 104. Automatically in their mind, they're thinking, wow, this sounds great. Motivational interviewing from there. It's just a simple play on words. It's something can really turn something into absolutely everything for these clients. I believe that motivational interviewing is something that is really well, un is terribly underused. Being able to motivate initially in that initial consult is something that is so important and a lot of people are lacking. To be able to, to define what's going on with your patients is different to define why they haven't done it by themselves. And that's something that just does not get spoken about enough. It always comes back to that evidence-based approach. You look up what's, what could potentially be occurring for this patient and you just address that. But we're not addressing what it takes to provide this person with a goal. Because we're not doing short-term care and as an accredited exercise physiologist, we're long-term care. Therefore, we need long-term goals. Being able to just define why you're here, why you want that goal is so important. So I believe motivational interviewing is something that is incredibly useful for any person in the world, really. It's defined as something that can be achieved in such a short period of time. You have 30 minutes with your patient, which means 30 minutes of motivational interviewing, which can change this person's life forever. My name is Josh Jones. Thank you for listening.